Paul Franks on BBC WM 95.6. Radio for the West Midlands. BBC WM. One of the world's great musicals, Phantom of the Opera, uh, in London at Her Majesty's Theatre at the moment. And one of the cast, who's just joined the West End production, Jeremy Taylor, who plays Raoul. He's been in Wicked, uh, We Will Rock You in the West End as well, toured with Evita and The Sound of Music and others. And he's from Sutton Coalfield. Let's, let's get a word. Jeremy Taylor, how are you? Hi, yes, I'm really well, thank you. So uh, now Phantom of the Opera, a first time in that? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's my first association with the show. Yeah, so I was kind of very pleased to, to, um, to be cast. So how does, a, how does a lad from Sutton Coalfield end up on the West End stage? Was it always the ambition? Do you know what? It was, actually, yeah. From probably about the age of 15, 16, I sort of did the, uh, the, the, the kind of typical normal route. I didn't, I didn't go through any of these TV talent show things or anything and fast track it. I, I did the long, long way round of going to drama school and uh, trying to pick up an agent, working in some kind of smaller parts in smaller shows and working up and then eventually getting to where I am now. Well, you went to the Guildford School of Acting, so uh, song and dance as well as the conventional acting, it's all in there. Yeah, uh, it was a degree course at, at, in musical theatre. That was always what I was going to end up doing, I think, if, if, if all went well. It was split, really, between all, all three disciplines, uh, acting, singing and dancing. So to take you down this path, was it something that happened, something you saw, somebody that said something to you? Do you know, it's, it's really difficult to pinpoint it. In, in a way, it was, all, it was always something that felt good to do. I'm not sure exactly why. I, I mean, I sort of, I, I was all right at school, but I never really got on as, certainly not as well as my br- older brother did. He was, he, was, he was great, excellent at school academically. And uh, I was always kind of in the middle. And I always needed a lot of help from my parents to sort of get on with it and tr- try and do well. But I never needed any help with getting on with doing, singing show songs and, and getting involved in the school productions and going to amateur stuff outside of school. I never needed any encouragement. It was, it was always there from the beginning. What school was it, by the way? At 15, I was at Queen Mary's Grammar School in Warsaw. It was an all-boys, you know, really academic school. But they didn't do a huge amount of theatre there. They did... I don't know, one thing every couple of years and it wasn't part of the syllabus. And then at 16, I moved to the Arthur Terry School in Sutton Coalfield which, and did sixth form there, which was a lot more performing arts orientated. I think it's a performing arts college, in fact. Have you been back to the Arthur Terry School at all? Just, just a couple of times, yeah. They, they do a sort of a, a, a kind of a big musical every year, really, and I've been back to see a few since then and they always keep the standards very high. Yeah, and, and now playing Raoul in Phantom, which, um, I mean, it's won over 70 major theatre awards, six, yeah. six billion dollars and counting at, oh, the, no. at the box office. I mean, over 140 million people have seen it around the world. It's, it's one of the great ones, isn't it? I think it is, really, and it was always... My, my mum reminded me, I, didn't, I sort of forgot, but she said, oh, I remember you saying when you were 17 that you wanted to play Raoul in Phantom, and it, she said, I didn't, believe, I didn't think it would happen at the time. <laughs> I was like, oh, cheers, mum. But, um, <laughs> but so it, it ended up happening at the end, which was, which was, which was great. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's sort of half amazing, half intimidating, really, when you think of how successful the show's been, to actually be part of it and to, to, to continue running it, uh, running with it. It's been really, really good so far. Yeah, and on stage tonight. So can you, during the day, can you can you relax? Can you do pretty much what you want to do until you uh, head to the theatre? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, on an, we do two matinees, like afternoon performances a week on Thursday and Saturday. Yeah. Um, so obviously they start earlier in the day, so we have to get to the theatre. I mean, every show is different. I tend to get to the theatre maybe an hour and a half before curtain up, which usually gives me time to kind of get myself ready. On the other days, obviously, we don't start until, you know, the curtain's up at half seven. So we don't usually get into the theatre until about six o'clock. So you do have the days to yourself, but you have to be very careful and, and you can't just you know, go and have a big day and do what you want. I guess someone working a nine-to-five would have the evening to themselves and they wouldn't go out and party every night. That's their evening time. So our our evening time is in the daytime, so we like to rest. I say we, I mean actors and Mm. people who, you know, people who are involved in the show. You know, not do too much, try and eat well, you know, all the usual sort of things, but but you have to reserve your energies for the evening, for that intense evening every night. Yeah, well, you've been in some big shows already, so onwards and upwards. What's the ultimate goal then? sounds a bit naff to say <laughs> that what I'm doing now, isn't it, really? My goal a long, long time ago was to be p- playing a, a lead in, in, in London. It's been a really up and down.
down journey to get here. You do have to work hard. You know, I would say I've, I've worked relatively hard over the years. You know, just doing the training is difficult. Three years of, of college, they push you very, very hard. Um, you know, it's not like one or two days a week. I mean, it's it's every day from sort of eight or six plus evening hours. They they get you ready for the grind because it's it's one of those jobs where you it's really it's really good when you're in work. But you know, most actors are in and out of work all the time, and you have to balance the. You know, I was saying to my fiance earlier, actually, because she's an actress as well, and we were saying, isn't it funny? Because I had the opening night for Phantom last week, and you know, after the show, we had a, a you know, free drinks. So, you know, they put on put on a little drinks thing, and it's nice, and you get to you get to kind of celebrate the the opening night afterwards. And 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 a few months before this, you know, we're we're going shopping and and looking at our budget and and going right, can we afford this? Can we afford this? You know, eating tins of beans and stuff. You know, it it sort of goes from sort of luxury to to the opposite within a, a month or two sometimes i mean it's a real up and down and you've got to be ready to take those ups and downs to get there you wouldn't have it any other way though uh, i don't think so no jeremy taylor who's from sutton coalfields uh, who's in the west end at her majesty's theater uh, in phantom of the opera for how, how long uh so i'll be there till september 2018 right so that that's a big schlep isn't it that's a big yeah. gig that's a big gig it's good uh, Annual contracts, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be there for a little while, yeah. I wish you well, Jeremy. Great to have you on the show. Thank you ever so much.